Hello, everybody. Welcome to round one of June Ancients. Chris Nirvana Tool here, back in the gameplay saddle. It has been a minute. I am very happy to be playing Warlord again online for you fine folk. Uh, I would like to thank the finest folk, Mr. Gracchus the Old, for the uh, sub over here. Thank you very much. Appreciate it starting us off strong. Uh, but we are getting ready to play some regular good old Ancients. So I know we got a lot of newer players here. Um, or newer players who have been drawn by some event that has been happening in the world, Warlord realm, if you will. Um, so, for those who are not familiar, uh, I like to stream my tournament games on Twitch and then put the VODs on Warlord for you all to see. So, this month I decided I'm going to take good old Yeskar the Elder. I figured he is a uh, he's a fan favorite for a while, so I took a shot at him and I got a really wonky, janky deck and I, and I don't know if it's going to work. Um, did not... Did not test once, but I don't know if my opponent has tested either. They may have been uh, in, you know, busy with some other things here or there. But uh, the my welcome back opponent to playing Warlord Online is good old Woodrow Hood. How are you doing, my friend? How are strawberries not? Or I mean, sorry, how are bananas berries and strawberries aren't? Fumbled at the game. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. I always try and make my uh, my game name titles something interesting. So, so, uh, I'm doing well. Something Go existential? Ahead. Yeah, I'm just thinking about stuff. I'm looking at Yaskar the Elder, old bald guy. Is that why you picked it? Old bald guy, but this guy is malnourished. That is clearly not me. But uh, <laughs> Moon Boots 31 with the Prime sub has triggered a, a hype train. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. But Great yeah. job, Moon yeah, no, no, don't worry. Yes, go the elder. Uh, he, he he's hungry. He he's very very hungry. So he, he cannot be me. I I am not hungry. I'm very well fed. Uh, I had a yeah, very Moonboots very delicious. Obviously a fan there. of. I, I think Moon Boots probably subbed you because of uh, you know his fandom of like the Blood Moon Baskeron, right? Oh yeah. Okay, that's a that's a bit of a stretch. I think he just liked the old Nickelodeon things, those Moon Boots <laughs> that you jumped up and down on. Who knows? Oh, okay, I didn't actually get the reference. That's awesome. That's what I'm thinking. I assume it is. Or were those boot shoes? I don't remember. But, like, he's taking it, like, a, a step higher. <laughs> it's like, not, I'm not shoes. I'm boots. I, I need that okay. ankle support. I, I opened a tab. I opened a tab. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to it after the game, but i got to find out what the deal is with these moon boots. It might be important. <laughs> uh, great. Graham wants to know, has Woodrow subscribed? He's got the dollars now. Yeah, that's true. You haven't given me a sub. Hey, he's not allowed to, to stream Snipe. All right, get out of here, Graham. It's not not okay. Even if you do pay for it, pay to see my hand. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I read that, I was like, what does he mean? It took me a while. I mean, too. I don't have the stream open. See, that, that, that's the, a little, uh, we'll put this some, you know, some behind the scenes going on here. Usually when I read people's things out loud it's because i looked at it didn't understand it i'm gonna say it out loud so it processes in my head and then i can comment on it that's a little uh live trick that uh you all can have for free south coast warlords is a south coast what's going on <laughs> oh yeah i guess the gulf kind of counts right yeah what's going Sword on coast. fill me up five thanks for coming bud appreciate it so woodrow you are running a four east stable Good old Krenther Gouge. So, what made you run this good old Barbarian Troll here? Um, I, well, uh, Graham asked if I would play this month, and I said, um, yeah, I can if you, know, if you need to even it out. And I scrolled through my phone, and what did I type? I typed um, meddling in nature, or meddling with nature, or whatever. The, uh, it's, a, it's an ancient, it's a action, it's a warlord action that I think is very, very good. And uh, this was the first deck that popped up, which I don't think Krynthor's positioned to use the the action very well, but middling in nature. There you it's go. I think it's a good card. I think it's, um, it. it's something I never see people play, but I think it's really good, especially in a in a cleric that's Rig. good at keeping their stuff around and just kind of getting that wide rank. So, Yeah, I know. This is your favorite card ever. You always suggest that I play it, no matter what deck. You know, that's usually well, your go-to. Yeah, that w it was it was Ghost Steel Gauntlets and From Dust to Dust and Incentives and you know all those all those cards and slowly we're starting to those are finding their way into the meta. So I got to keep going on my list. 
Meddling in nature is a good card, guys. So don't sleep on it. Exactly. You can permanently gain AC. You know, so if your game goes 100, 100 turns, this thing's a monster. <laughs> it just, uh, you know, the deck. like the token characters are just, they're very, very valuable. There's a deck there. Who knows? Maybe we'll see it on a stream in the future. The Jersey chat may have been talking about and theory crafting a deck like that, but we'll see if we'll ever see it. We don't know if it ever makes the the de- the light of day. The Jersey Zoo that'd be a good a good deck name. I mean, there is a there's a South Jersey Zoo, but there's no actual like New Jersey Zoo. Yeah, I'm just thinking like the Brooklyn Zoo, the Bronx on, Zoo. So I, yeah, you need something. I don't know the actual locations within New Jersey. I don't know if there are any, but what is it, Bayonne? Ban? Say it again. <laughs> Look. Okay. <clears throat> I don't on, want to. Come on, channel your inner French. It's okay. I know your team Japan. I, no, here's but... the thing. I used to speak. I used to speak French. Like. Then, then you have no excuse. It's. Like, I know it's bad. I know it's bad. It's, it's embarrassing. That's why. That's why I don't do it. If if my French teachers and my um, my old classmates, yeah, if they heard that. Your French teacher <laughs> definitely watches this stream. Don't you worry. <laughs> she. I think she's watching. I need, to be, I need to be on my. I need to be careful. I need to stay off the French just in case. She keeps the lights on here. That's what. It, that's what it is. She's 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 a big supporter of this. She loves the Wheel of Woodrow, which we will get to later, folks. But uh, I think we need to get to actual gameplay. So uh, <laughs> probably so. What do you say, Woodrow? Ready to get this show on the road? <laughs> I say everybody should sub to you right now. Uh, Vac has diapers to buy, and those things aren't cheap. No, they are not. And, and, They're not cheap. And I need as many as possible. Man. Three and one changing. Girl, what are you doing? Oh, man. It's like, ah, oh, here's a new one. Nope. Okay, cool. I guess we'll go for a new one. Nope. Hey, Risto. That's Back how it goes. I'm so, I'm so excited to kill this Fire Fiends. You ain't going to kill that guy. Get out of here. But either way, let's let's get this show on the road. So good luck to you, and let's have some fun. Back at you. All right, let's start the timer now. Cool. Rolling it up. Ooh, what do we have? Eighteens, matching. Mm. I like it. Oh, it's all you. Oh, that means I get to actually use my fire fiends. Let's go. Do it. I'm gonna attack a gunda. Bam! More eighteens. Takes a wound. Ooh. We'll react. You got it. <laughs> Hmm. I don't know if you all hear my daughter scream in the background. It's like I go live and she's like, ah, ah, ah. We'll go on, we'll have that Gunda play facing. That's and nice. And we'll go plus, plus 10 on the Fire Fiends. Go for it. Dead. Uh, okay. Let's put that out here. So... That is what you did, so now I can either try and swing to try and kill it, or I can uh, play out some cards. That is the question. Let's try and take out that Gunda. Go for it. Plus zero. Ah, just missed it. All right, we'll do our second one on this guy. Go Plus for ten. It. There's a wound. Kapow. Uh, let's drop Ravika. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. It's a warfare. <laughs> no way that is going oh, off. You are out of your mind. <laughs> Ooh. I will not be it spending. It? Yeah, I will. It, Winter Warfare targets everybody in play, so uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I cancel the action and then I may perform the action if I really wanted to, but sure. I will choose not to. How dare you try and make my hand dead? Get out of here. <laughs> um, let's take a swing at Gunda. Come uh-huh. on, Brian Fiend. There we go. That's with these eights and eighteens. I don't know. It's been a bunch of them. Let's see. We'll go on the wounded. Go for it. Down he goes. Mm-hmm. Tyron Ruskin will fall. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I will use Yeskar's ability and go searching for a lycanthrope form. Find a card. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Kapow! Oh, everyone's seeing my crazy tech. Let's go with a rock form. Big shock. Mm -hmm. Goes to hand. We're going here, I suppose. Go for it. There's a wound mm -hmm. that goes. Yeah. All righty. Rock form on my warlord. It's grid. <laughs> you get to try and level. That's cute. Um. Which is the better option here? Uh, let's. Thinking how this is going to go. Could be a few different ways. You got two cards in hand. Basically, do I want to get rid of one of these cards or not? That's the question. Yeah, right, maybe I'll just miss. It'll be fine. I'll order up. We'll swing. Um, we'll go on Tyrant. Yep. And power attack. Uh, it's 18, so not quite. And on Tyrant, plus two. Ooh, baby. That gamble worked out. Um, let's get my warlord to the front. Uh-huh. <laughs> we will pass. You get a pass. Hmm. Let's put on a spider form. Okay. It's an additional swing, right? Yes. Okay. Go for it. I'll pass. Let's attack. I'm going to go for Bithgrid. Plus nine. Yep. That'll hit. E yep. He's down. Second strike on a Gunda. Okay. That'll hit. You'll react. react. All right. Third mm -hmm. strike on the same Gunda. That'll hit. She's down. Hmm. I will have... Spent Gunda will play... Or will I'll discard... She will use Vagin's order. Reveal him and do plus two. Sure. We'll go on... Uh, I guess on Ruskin. Go for it. Ooh, down he goes. He is dead. Mm-hmm. Um... This is tricky... I will put on a chameleon form. Okay. Health and medicine. I will pass. I will pass as well. Untap. Let's hold one card and draw four. Interesting. This is going to get real goofy real fast. You have initiative. Let's see. Let's go ahead and swing with Gunda, I think. That makes the most sense on Elder. Uh, what's this? Plus three? Yeah, go for it. Yep. No, sir. We're still good. Brian Fiend, put some damage on these druids. He's trying to roll a 50-50 shot on Python. Sure. Got him. Pretty good. We will... Hmm. Meddling in nature. <laughs> he was not kidding. He was not kidding, folks. Um. Characters are good. Tyron Ruskin. Mm-hmm. 
meddling in nature will try and put a wound on the elder. Now, do you actually have exhaustion? Yes. I don't think you yes. do. I think you're full of it. But go ahead. I'll let you sway. No, sir. Ghost bog. Ooh, interesting. We will play Crayson. Good old Crayson. Mm-hmm. I will have Ravika play Chosen on the Elder. Okay. Interesting. The old good and evil cleric start. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'll move Krynthor up and fall Phython. Three you want to play? I don't know. Let's play Threaten on Krayson over here. And then we'll sure. move him in between just to mess up your ranks. He will spend. Only spend. And then I got to make a stealth check DC 20. Oh, mm -hmm. I ready. Ooh. I see. Uh, legal rank, I will fall Tyron and Ravika. Okay. Interesting. The whole chat hmm. is speaking French, by the way, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Good. I expect no less. Um, what do we do from here? I guess we equip a Blazing Medallion. You got it. Uh, I'm going to use Gilbert Basque, removing my Fire Fiends, to give Yaskar mm. an extra one. Because we know mm. if I don't, I'm going to miss by one. Uh -huh. Equip a Virtual Ritual Scar. I will... Hmm. Pass. Alrighty. Let's go for Big Daddy Krenther. Uh-huh. Putting that plus 11 for two. Yep. That'll hit. And then going at six, is it? Yeah. Plus six for two on Krenther. Uh-huh. That'll hit. That's it. GG. GG's. Nobody expects the chosen. Good game. I, I like the, the we Krenthor instead of a me Krenthor. It's a really cool touch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Face of the Demon's really good. Vagen. Vagen. However you say his name. Now, I'm trying to think. Do I even need this Fire Fiends? It's like there, in case my opponent's not going <laughs> to try and kill any of my characters. Um, I think I am going to switch. Let's go and get the third Brian Fiend and put the Fire Fiends in. I'm sure they'll find their way back at some point. Shuffle. If you would like to change, you're free to as well. Mm. Triple to muck. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's a playable card. Josh would disagree, but I'm not a. I'm not a huge to muck believer. Is there a Nothrog he has met that he does not like? I don't think so. That's that's a good question. Yeah. There's probably some out there. There's a lot of. Um, there's a lot of duds. <laughs> 10 right. to 3. Alrighty, so I am up first. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't have Fire Fiend, so what do I do? Uh, let's play Horesk, in case you got healing. And negate the wounds. Okay. Interesting. Swing at a Brine Fiend. Go for it. That's a wound. A wound. Uh, wounded Brine Fiend will... Take a swing on this gun. To... Sure. Oh, thanks for the gifted sub, Sanji. That'll miss. You oh, wish you I hit. You missed. <laughs> hmm. We'll go on 
This Prime Fiend. Go for it. Nope. Not quite. No, sir. Let's play Kardak Vash. Okay. Hmm. We'll draw a card. You got it. I can swing at him with no problem. Let's mm -hmm. go for Cargrag. Nothing. Heard about it. Brine fiends are cold. They need their fire fiends to warm them up. You got it. Nothing. Untap. Three threes. Triple threes, yeah. Remember, anyone who was in the Discord before, we were talking about this exact problem. <laughs> um, I've seen it happen at too many tables to call it a... You know, this is, this is at one point it's a coincidence, but then it becomes a trend. Uh, I'm going to use Yeskar and go search him. Uh-huh. Let's go and find the rock form. Sure. Pow. We'll, um, we'll try winter. Um, yeah, you got it off this time. You were good there. All right. Um, I will equip the rock form. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Um, what are we doing? Honestly, much as I want to do this differently... I think we're going to swing Gunda on this Brine Fiend. Go for it. Got that, him. That will hit. All righty. We'd like to Swordmaster. What in God's name is this? Are we good? I'm Sounds trying. like we're good. Yeah, you're good. I'm just reading what it does. Um, so you're plus one level, and then you go and find... Oh, okay. People aren't playing this? I think uh, I'm Oliver sure, is. I'm pretty sure people are people are playing this. Yeah, Rain and Oliver, I think, are playing this. Oliver is not a person. Get out of here. Um. So with moves with him one. Okay. Um. I will go chameleon form with a heart of the beast. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> That's right. True form. Okay. I that am is, a flying uh... chameleon. <laughs> Wow. That's something. That something. It's something. It really is. Um, we'll play a Bithcrid. There's our target. Brine Fiend. Come mm -hmm. on. You're 0 for 2. I need you to give me this one. Bithcrid. Nothing. Mm -hmm. mm. We'll play a Bithcrid. There's more. Um... don't think there's any point in doing anything at this point. So I will pass. We're swinging at Brian Fiend and we're looking for power attack. It's not enough as we saw last game. So on Brian Fiend. That'll uh, that does hit though. Yep. You got it. I will pass. Same Brian Fiend. Power attacking. Good on the power attack. Let's see the roll. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> um, it's pretty old still. I think I'll pass. Mm -mm -mm. I will also pass. I have survived the warfare. I will get you rid did. of anticipate. I did not. Draw a second warfare. Did not anticipate the warfare. <laughs> I think I hold a card. That might be the second warfare. It's a big bloody stupid heart with a big bloody stupid curse on it. Interesting. Initiative. That's a good one. What'd you roll? 17? Okay, rolling it mm -hmm. up. 17. Oh, come on. Stop. <laughs> Stop. You got an 8, and I got a 4. Here we go. Uh, power attack. We're going on the wounded brine fiend. We're good on the power attack. Two wounds on the wounded Brine Fiend. Yep. You got hey, it. Hey, we will react and gain levels. You so. got it. I will fall Tyron Ruskin. Okay. I'm going to end up psyching him. 
Psych, psych, psych. After I read some stuff, look in through my hand. Okay, we're good. Psyching the Ruskin. Uh, two, three, four, five. Not quite. Swordmaster doesn't give, it gives two attacks, so three, six, Only two. eight. Yeah, you missed by one. Woo. Mm-hmm. All right, so no more reacts on your end. That's your... That's it. All yep. Right. Um... Let's swing with this Brian Fiend. Let's get a strike off the board. Going on that mm-hmm. unleveled Beth grid. Oh, Brian Fiends sure. are cold. Yeah, I think we're going to go Cargrag on that Brian Fiend. Nope. Nope. Um, let's go Ghost Bog. Interesting. We will. Hmm. We'll swing at Brine Fiend. Nope. Oh, man. Uh, here's a Ravika. Okay. On Brine Fiend. Hey. That is going to wound him. Chikapow. Um. This is a bit awkward. Um, I will stun Card Act 2 and stun up her esque. Okay. We'll go Bithcrit on Brime Fiend. You got it. We'll power attack. Ooh, you shouldn't have had We missed. <laughs> missed on the power attack. Right, oh, on yeah. The strike I thought he was eight above. No, you're good. Go for it. Not quite. Um, Let's order forward. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Medicine and stealth. <laughs> Let's crun strategies. Hey, hey. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Do it again. Um, I think this is worth it. Temple. Mm hmm. Hmm. No spell strikes available. <laughs> we will just. Because we got to get past that Ravika as well. Mm. Let's go ahead and swing Bithcrid at Brian Fiend, wounded. Go for it. <laughs> Still no. No. He's a 9 AC, Brian Bean, by the way. Clearly. Um, let's come on up. Uh-huh. Um. Sitting at 22. Mm, oh, no, I don't uh, Yeah. Oh, I don't care I, about your AC. I, I, don't think I'll, I don't think I'll be swinging at you this turn. That would surprise me. If that were to happen. Million and rock. Um, I'll play for all and give a hit point to Bithgrid. You got it. So we got three. Uh huh. <laughs> three HP with Bithgrid. Uh, let's use my order and go search. Okay. I will go and get a rock form. You got let's it. See, for all will twist you. For Rawls the one twisting me? Uh-huh. He's fine. Wait, but he, he why'd coming. you get a rock form? To fuel Ravika. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. I don't if I had a heart of the beast in my head, then it would have been something else. <laughs> right. That makes sense. 
Um, oh, wait, yeah, someone's pointing out something. Uh, Feral cannot uh, target Bithgrid because he has already gained a permanent HP, so you must choose a different one. Let's see. Gains plus one. Oh, okay, good good call. Um, that is a good call. We'll target the other Bithgrid. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Interesting. And Feral also gets one. They didn't point out that part, okay? You could have mentioned I didn't mark my own. Look, the chat is clearly... Um, Clearly biased. If there's a point in this game where I'm swinging up for all, something has gone very wrong for me. <laughs> right. It's true. Um, Ravika Fuel, huh? We'll go Gunda on Temple. There's one. Um, yes. Takes a wound. Mm -hmm. I'll attempt a medicine check with Yeskar the Elder on the Temple. Yep. Got it. Mm-hmm. We'll go Ithgrid on Temple. No, sir. Nope. Um... Let's have Gilbert Basque play Chosen on Yeskar the Elder. Hmm. Am I going to get punished for this for all? <laughs> I felt good about it. We'll go on Temple. No. No. Um, so that gun that does have two HP. Um, I still think he might just be the target here. Um. Yep, Yeskar will take a swing at this guy. Plus a lot for two. Uh-huh. That'll hit. I'll react. When you react, I'll ghost bog him. Yep. And then... Second strike. Let's go on a different Gunda. Okay. Uh, yeah, that'll hit for two with the temple bonus. Yep. Should be good. Um, I'll move a hit point or move a wound rather from this Gunda to Krenthor. Yep. Um, Gilbert Basque will remove a Brine Fiend and make the temple a monster. Okay. I'll remove a wound from Krenthor. Um, I'll play Fire Fiends in rank two. Interesting. Okay. Um, okay, rock form is twice a turn. Interesting, interesting. I will... You haven't stealthed yet. You'll definitely hit it. Maybe I should start killing other stuff. Yeah. Gunda will facing the demons. So the first one. Hmm. Plus eights. We'll go on temple, I guess. Go for it. There's a wound. One. Um now my action I will pass and let your second strike go off. On temple? Go for it. No. Not quite. I'll maneuver Fire Fiends to the front. Okay. Uh, Gunda will swing at Fire Fiends. <laughs> Go, for Gunda. Go for it. Down he goes. Mm -hmm. Gotta defend the home front. Um, I'll pass. We'll move a wound to Feral. Yep. Makes sense. I will pass. We're up. Still passing. That's all I got. Boom. Alrighty. Doink. I'm just going to make them at zeros. When I use them, I'll tick it up to one. Uh, Horesk is now spent. 
Let's draw some cards. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Initiative. I have initiative. Um Cardinal's Blessing on Gilbert. That's a good one. Um Do I have anything to do about that? I don't think so. We're just gonna have a big elder. What can you do? Ali Eagle can subscribe. That's what we can do. <laughs> um, let's go with the unleveled Bithcred on... Actually, you know what? What's this one have? Let's see if we can get your Ravika used up. Yeah, we'll go with this Bithcred. The one that has two levels. We'll go on Tyron. Okay. And power attack, sorry. Yep. I, I assumed you were power attacking. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I was doing some some math while I rolled, I will, uh, and then yeah. I will let that slide. Despite chats, <laughs> insistence, insistence on hey, no we'll... take backs, but don't worry, Celtics here, so we allow take backs. It's totally fine. All right, wound on Tyron Ruskin. Um, so Kardak Vash is going to attempt to medicine the monster within one rank. That is the Temple of Lore. Yep. Got it. No wound mm -hmm. on temp. Unleveled Bithcrid will swing on Tyron. Uh, actually, sorry. Swing on Brian Fiend. Going on Brian Fiend. 9 AC. Um, am I okay with you level? That, that was the roll. I forgot the power attack. This freaking guy. Um, am I okay with that? Really depends. Yeah, sure, he does. I don't think he's important. Okay, we'll react. Yep, you're good. Um, let's go ahead and use Gilbert, removing fire fiends on the elder, and we'll react with the blessing. Give him sixes. Hey, Risto, Vac is streaming live. Sounds good. We will go. Which Gunda do we um, We'll go with Gunda on on Tyron. Go for it. I will. Uh, I will use the spin react on Tyron Ruskin. He will kill himself, so you do not get the credit. Sure. Very important. Uh, we just know he's Gilbert, just in case. Um, we'll search for a lycanthrope form. I will go get spider form. No twist. Boom. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We will attack with Kargrag on, I guess, Temple. Okay. Ooh, that's a wound. I'm cool with that. Um, does my warlord want to medicine? You got like one more strike? Yeah. Yeah, let's have uh, Yeskar the Elder medicine. Uh huh. I don't think so. Let's see. Plus five, 13, and five. No, yeah, I'm plus 18. Because I'm level five, so I get five skill from the temple. And mm -hmm. five from there. Yeah, so. Yeah, you should be good. Anything but a one. I will, I will, I will. Do I want to keep on the temple? Yeah, I guess we, we're probably supposed to. I will go and swing at temple. Go for it. That's one. <laughs> mm hmm. Um. Spend forward, Rubika. Yep. Um, I'll play a Krayson. Torn in rank four. Mm-hmm. 
Brawl, we will hand out hit points to somebody. I can't do either Bithcrit, I can't do that Gunda. <laughs> I suppose we'll give it to... Grayson. There you go. He ain't going away. Um, let's use Torin, discarding Cardinal of Blessing. Take a look. Pipe, peep him five. What do we got? So that's what we got. Another heart combo assembled? Not quite. But I have a card. I will move up for all. I already had the heart, but let's equip spider form, heart of the beast. There it is. Spider, chameleon, and rock. <laughs> Super Yeskar. The chameleon became a right of character in for you. I'm surprised the spider didn't become an elf. <laughs> let's see. We will play Cargrag and draw a card. No, it's not turn one. <laughs> nice try. Um, I'm going to use Kardak Vash's order, and I'm going to wound Yeskar and give him plus five and an extra strike. Sounds good. We'll swing it temple. That will hit the temple, so I'll attempt to use Ravika and On discard the, the other Heart of the Beast. Seems good. It's good use for that card. <laughs> Let's go ahead and threaten. Um, who are we going for? Uh, yeah, let's go for. Let's go for Fython over there, on the flats. So. We're threatening. Okay. Yep. He spends, he spent. and I ready. Mm-hmm. And you still got two uses of rock form, but no chosen. No chosen. Okay. Interesting. We'll send Krayson up a rank and fall for all. Alrighty, let's uh attack Krenther. Sure. Anything but a one. Uh-huh. There's a wound. Second strike. There's a wound. Third strike mm -hmm. from the rock uh, from the spider form. Hits, and then fourth strike from Kardak Vesh. Dead. <laughs> you got him. GG's. GG's. Oof, that was a very big yes car. Too much AC, yeah. <laughs> He's encumbered. He is very he is currently encumbered. <laughs> stack and this is literally the definition of stacking items, good old heart of the beast. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's uh, that's a that's a really fair, fun example of that. Yeah, good old Yeskar. Usually, the, I've never gotten off too hard of the beast ever, so it felt good doing that. And it felt, no, for sure, it felt good using Kardak Vash. I love this guy. He is fun. Good old Sutek. but no, you're. De I, I really like the 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 wee Nothrogs. Like we've seen it at Sargog, but seeing it at Krenthor is really cool. Just to leverage the Gunda bonus and the Krenthor bonus, so it's like, I'm not missing. I really like that. You know what What you're doing makes like kind of reminds me of? It It reminds me of probably what All Rain will do in Ancients, right? Like, try and reconnaissance and threaten into the opposing ranks. Who are you, who are you talking uh, about? Maybe some monster. All Rain Gaunt. Oh, the new guy. From the, from the starter decks. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's pretty good to, like, go threaten in, spin somebody, strike... And kind of run in the back and get a bunch of strikes. And it's the same kind of thing because Kardak works with him as well. He's a monster. It is It is um, very fitting that you would use that Warlord as an example for this. Because the reason I am playing Eskar is because Wes asked me to remove him from the ugly list. So <laughs> That's awesome. I had, to, I had to go in true Wes fashion with the deck. <laughs> I didn't know about the ugly list. Was Krenthor on there? Uh, I think so. Only because I don't think, not because he's bad, but just I don't think a lot of people play him. Um, the ugly sure. list is if you haven't cut with it in an ancient, specific ancients format in the online event since our records can go back, um, then it, he's on the ugly list. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't know 
how well Krenthor will do in a, a 60 person event, especially losing to Yskar the round I, one. I didn't, I didn't know this was a 60 person event either. I was like, let's go Yskar because it's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Official uh, ruling Krenthor is ugly from Graham, so it's it's taken care of. Um, and Krenthor I, is ugly, okay. And I do need to look like. Go ahead. I, I mean, he looks like the cucumber from VeggieTales, kind of. But like, <laughs> uh, but like if he's dried up, you know, if he's left out to wither. <laughs> Kind of ugly. Yeah, as trolls are supposed to be. Good old Drew. Drew did good good work here. Um, I do want to address one comment in particular. Um, Zant saying, where was Rabbit Bite? Which is a, a good old... <laughs> loyal viewers will know that that is a meme card. Um, I can ne neither confirm nor deny that it is in this deck or in another Yeskar deck that I may have at some point created. Um... It's actually not that bad. <laughs> uh, but it is unfortunately not in this deck. I, I sent it to Graham and I was like, I even said to Graham, like, damn, forgot I really should cut X for, for a rabbit bite, but I didn't. So How's our viewership? 26. That's 26 good. people watching around. That's really good. That's pretty good. Can That's you, good. That's nice. Now, now, are you putting them in the seats or, or are they here for me? Like, you guys are here for me, right? Like it's not I didn't because do any... oh, okay yeah they, no, they... I don't think he cares about me yeah they're not here to try and guilt you into spoilers or anything like that or, or to like turn this into another impromptu Q and A so guys get that out of your head it's not happening you can Larry the cucumber I didn't know the cucumber had a name oh man it had to be Larry oh that poor poor cucumber <laughs> Sanji's like let's stop talking and let's get to the giveaway <laughs> he's sub <laughs> summoning Nightbot over here. Um, we can do that. Let's, My dad's equally. <laughs> let's move along to good old giveaway. So the Wheel of Woodrow, very fitting, because um, I'm going to have to explain what this is to a lot of newer players. Now. <laughs> um, but the Wheel of Woodrow is a special giveaway uh, as a thank you for coming on the stream, letting us watch matches again. Playing on camera is not easy, folks. I make it look easy because I've done it for so long. But there's a lot of pressure when 26 people are watching you. Because when you screw up, man, they are not going to let you forget it. Or if you accidentally perform something illegally, you are now a cheater for the rest of your life. This is just how it is. So because of that pressure that a lot of people play uh, face when they come on without knowing this, we give them a good old spin of the wheel of Woodrow. Whatever you land on, that's what you're going to get. Now, there's some fun stuff. Uh, usually, most of it is going to be if you land on stupid luck or chosen... You're going to get a pack of black knives. We're going to crack it here on stream. If it's a quality card, I'll ship the whole pack right to Woodrow. If it's a bad card, it stays with me in the loot box, which we are building up as we go. So bad, bad rares stay here. Good rares, they get them. Uh, and then there's also some other stuff on the wheel. Like, you, you know, you can become a loot box candidate once we get to eight. We raffle that off and the person gets the whole loot box. So you get, you get a bunch of bad packs. But you get a whole bunch of cards, which is great. So there's that option. Uh, there are fumbles here, so you can fumble and screw up, and then that would be it. And then um, there's, there's there's a little warlord one, one of those little orange ones. Seems to come up a lot. Um, that's the little check mark that's right below me, right over here. Um, if you la if you land on warlord, you will get a random warlord pick from good old box over here but in addition in addition we add a little check mark here once we get the three check marks whoever put that last check mark gets to designate a warlord that i must play in a future online event so a whole lot of fun stuff that we do here for the giveaway it was a very long explanation that woodrow quiet oh, patiently stayed quiet for so uh woodrow let's uh let's get your spin first we'll give one to you and then one at least one to uh our fine folks in the audience here. So, Woodrow, what kind of velocity do you want to spin your wheel? Um, I would say fast. I mean, you got to go fast. Go fast. Go fast. Let's go. Woo! That usually works out, though. Let's see. It is spinning. Just looking at my face in the middle, remembering when my son's teeth were just coming in. You will get to this point, and everything, everything within nibbling distance is a chew toy. You will make that face one day. <laughs> I mean, she she already gums me with no teeth when uh, right. I take the bottle away. When they're, when they're first growing, they're they're like razor blades. 
There's a reason uh, Charlie's brother was crying so much in that infamous video. <laughs> the Charlie bit my finger video. <laughs> I look forward to all Stupid the luck. Stars. Is that good or is that bad? That is good. It's uh, You're going to get a random pack uh, of Black Knives. I'm just glad it didn't land on Warlord because we're getting a little too close to that. Imagine me giving you a random Warlord. That'd be very fun. Um, but, so we got this stack here. So we got four corners. There's about, let's say, like six-ish packs in each each stack. Yeah, maybe like the one of the stacks is smaller. But which stack and how many down do you want to go for your pack, Woodrow? Uh, have you weighed these yet? Weighed each pack? No, I do not have yeah. the milligrams that they are. Okay. Well, in that case, I would say the the one closest to you. The one closest to me has got to be the top one right here. That is the short, shortest distance to grab. We're looking for Foil Torin, foreign Foil Mass Blessing, rather. Not foreign. We have pulled the Foil Mass Blessing already. So that went to Sly, I believe, right? Sly, somewhere. Wow. I don't know. Um, yes, foils are heavier. Crap, I forgot the card trick. And God packs are very heavy. I think it's I, just uh, the back I like the, I like those ideas in, in, in theory, but um, people get really weird about mapping out boxes anymore. Okay, cool. And you can do a lot of weird stuff even just like with your rarity schemes. It all gets weird. Exactly. Like, they keep changing, and if I had just streamed more, I would know this. It's, yeah, it's just the back, back, back card is the rare. I just move it there. So let's get okay. rolling. Starting with the uncommons, we got for you, calm. Nice calm. I think can play calm. Uh, Bruin Lenore. Spellbook. Then going to the commons, we got Sabbath Yeskar. What up to my Yeskar? Oh, he's here to say hi to you, Woodrow. Good old Timuk. <laughs> Send that to Josh. <laughs> I'll never touch it. Mixed Potion. Kether. Uh, symbol of Core. Blast. And not fast enough. Blast is good. Yeah, these are pretty good comments. Um, but none of that matters. I mean, they might be a tiebreaker. Oh, okay. But hey, they're just for tiebreaker purposes. Can you imagine drafting these set? Like, what what would you pick out of that if you're drafting? Uh, if this is pack one, pick one, and we're going to ignore that, we're going to pretend that there's no rare in here? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Kether's kind of money. You're um, completely open. You can be any faction class you want. Let me take a look. <laughs> a closer look. Definitely not fast enough. Screw that. Blast is a solid because it's just one for one when you play it. But Sabbath Escar sure. can go into anything and you don't lock into a faction. So I kind of like that. The mixed potion could get funny. Uh, but it's either Kether or Sabbath Yeskar I think I would go. Probably Sabbath just to not lock into one faction yet and see what the next pack is. That's what I would do. Yeah. You take the Merc. Yep. That's what I would do. Yep. I think I'm, I think I'm with you. But now let, let's see if that choice still stands after we see this rare. Right. This might have been a rare draft. <laughs> let's see what we got. We got Count Damien. Man, I love that Count Damien is showing up when you were on this. <laughs> the most talked, why do you love, why do you the love that? The most talked about random Deveridian in the Discord forum since the Kickstarter campaign has started. For no why are we reason. talking about the Huntsman? Uh, the Huntsman. <laughs> Because so, power creep exists. What is this? Oh, man, I love it. I love it. All right, let, let, we don't have to read too much of Count Damien, which is good. Uh, Count Damien is a level four Deverinian huntsman, which means he's a ranger now, I believe. Um, so he has got three strikes, five, two, two, 13 AC, five skill, two HP. That is all he does. That is everything that is Count Damien. So would well, you? and I think really he's just, it's his dogs, right? The dogs are the 5-2-2. The Deveronian hounds. Yeah. He's got four hounds, though. One of them's lazy. Oh, he's got five. He is a ranger now. So the way that works, I know I've seen some people, I have seen that, where people are like, why do these things have traits and these other cards don't have traits? What we did was we did something called uh, trait mapping, where we took the old flavor traits and mapped them into like an updated... Uh, trait that actually exists uh, and in doing so we gave a lot of old cards traits but some cards that didn't have flavor traits or traits 
just still don't have any traits and, and that's okay. We don't want to go back through and try and guess like what they should have been. Yeah, some, some you can't really guess, but Huntsman being a ranger is pretty cool. I think he's the only Deverinian ranger now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And like that's how the the Storm Wraith, um, that's how you know she was voice of the storm, the flavor trade. It's like obviously that's going to be Storm Wraith. Yeah, the, 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 the G- Geb Manetta becoming a Storm Wraith has made Gracchus the Old very happy. Um, seeing a Deverinian open the front pack also probably makes him happy. But uh, what are your thoughts on Count Damien? You think this is a winner? Uh, I think Count Damien's pretty rough, even even in um, even in the context of High Acolyte Helene being a warlord. Like even if that's an option available to you, and he's now third level, I still think it's rough. I mean, he's still worse than like your Nis rocks and your and stuff. You'd need some kind of ranger ranger synergy or some type of like you care about cards being level four or like higher level than a third level character or something. Like there needs to be something there. Um, obviously he's really good with readying and, you know, boosting attack because he gets more, more mileage out of those things. But I think he's just, he's one of those that, um, is just kind of outclassed. Outclassed by level three free kingdoms. That's right. (laughs) Oh, Huggins. Yeah. No, Huggins is way better. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's what a lot of people were like, you know, they just like. Huggins is also a ranger. I I think I remember I I saw, I I was, cause I was laughing at at the absurdity of it. Someone in discord was like, with Huggins existing, Count Damien better not be in in 5e or I'll be very upset. It's like different factions, different reasonings. I mean, certain cards just the idea that cards well, are better than others like this not yeah, that, perfect that, that happens exactly. yeah the world's not perfect like certain certain cards are better than others uh and that could even like be a good thing like that can serve to teach players like okay i'm seeing this one more often but this one's obviously better um it's okay even in, even within the same set like you'll see you know a level two with no abilities and another level two with no abilities maybe the same class and faction but one's got more stats why um, they're just they're doing different things and like teaching players that there's better options out there. I mean, your axe and hammer are really cool, <laughs> but you know if they're if they're in a set alongside something else, then you would probably pick some you know any other option. So, what is the point of axe and hammer existing when Gunda exists? How dare you? Um, but yeah, I, I agree. I think it's is a, a loot boxer, but. Draft wise, I might take that Count Damien to go back. Is it like three strikes out of a character? Like, might be worth it and, and invest in dev and then see what else you go. Like, sure. Could be. So, but okay, that that's going to the loop. If draft, if draft goes anything like, um, anything like the cube, I think people are, for whatever reason, there's a giant magnet when it comes to fighters. So that's the only, a lot of people try to get as many fighters as many fighter things as they can so i mean obviously that'll be different when we draft into the accord lens because people will be doing like i assume sort of you know limited breakdowns on what the best class is what you you know what the high draft picks are and stuff but um yeah i don't know the pack one pick one at least in cube i feel like the the fighter stuff is risky because everybody goes for it it's true you do have to calculate that um Let's see if someone else can get a better pack, though. Uh, let's open up Nightbot. It's kind of working. Okay, yeah, Nightbot's kind of working. It's a blocking a little bit of the the chat, but you all can see it. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna head off before you uh, finish up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ditch you and let you wrap up alone. Alrighty, you got it. Thank you for coming on, Woodrow. Um, Appreciate the beatdown. Good get, luck with your uh, with the rest of your geriatric ma- matches. GG's, and uh, I, I encourage you to look at the chat for a Q&A whenever you have time and you want to take a look and give me another view. Feel free, because everyone's throwing questions at you. <laughs> you want to do a Q&A, you said? Yeah. No, you do it. Like, like Oh, me do it. you you got to rewatch the, the, the part of the stream that you are now abandoning, and you need to go take a look at some of the questions that these people are asking you, and then you need to oh, okay. It. All right, I'm going to – I'll prompt – ask – Ask back as many questions as you guys can think of. See ya. All right. But take it easy, bud. All right. See you, man. Have a good night. GG's. Bye. GG's. All righty, folks. Let's give away uh, a spin of the wheel of Woodrow to one of you fine folks. So if you see your name on the list, 
We see Woodrow's name is already on the list. Do not worry. He will make. We will make sure that he is not going to get another one. If he does, I will re-roll it. Especially because he, he left. Um, but I gotta make sure I leave the voice chat. Okay, cool. Um, so, if you see your name on here, that means you've said something in the last 15 minutes. That means you're eligible for the giveaway. If you do not see your name on this list, you need to type something in the chat in like the next few moments. Um, that will get you in here. Um, and then, you know, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I give away another one. Maybe we go two. I don't know. We, we got to see how it feels. I, I'm very happy. Like, I, I'm very happy and, and I feel blessed that so many of you have chosen to watch me play Warlord on a Friday night. Um, but let's see. You, you, you wanted to watch me. You didn't want to watch Woodrow. Woodrow didn't really play Woodrow. Woodrow got, Woodrow got Yeskar the Elder. That's what he got. <laughs> Alrighty, but uh, let's see what we got. Rolling it up. It's going to fill me up five. Let's go. Okay, I like it when newcomers get in. Because if I saw like San oh, Sangington, we're like, oh, Celtic's not even on here. Good. Yeah, if it was like Sangington one, I'd be like, eh. Everybody else. I wouldn't feel bad about Rodrigo, even though Rodrigo wins all the time. Uh, if me, oh man, if it was Midge, that would have been really bad. All right, fill me up. What do we got for you? Let's take a look. I'm just gonna keep on spinning this until I kind of just feel like that's what it is. I'm looking away because people think that everything is rigged here, uh, and they will not know. They'll, they'll accuse me of like, oh, you're trying to watch this and you're spinning the wheel like this. No, I can't do that. I'm not that talented. Rig. All right, let's see what we got. It is not rigged. Get out of here. Okay, maybe it is right. <laughs> oh, you have fumbled. Uh, that means you, you get nothing, bud. You get nothing, but, the, but we get to we yes, shot you out. Cool, so free hat. The hat's gone. There we go, Cap. Yeah. Well, welcome to the stream. Congratulations on the fumble. You just suffered a wound for rolling a, a one. <laughs> but you know, yeah. It, 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 in your fumble, though. A new spin shall be reborn. I gotta give another spin out. Uh, we can't end on a fumble. That's just that, that's bad luck. That that sets a bad tone for uh, the next rounds coming. So let's see what we got. Who else is getting a spin? Good old Captain. There we go. Let's roll. Let's spin it up for you, Captain. Where are we? Nightbot. We're gonna do that again. This I'm not looking still. It's still the no look. And let's see what we got. If you, if you fumble again, you, you're all done. There's no more. Uh, but we'll, we'll give two spins. Let's see. Did. All right, cool. We got stupid luck. So we're getting a second pack. Phil has fumbled so that captain can pack. That's how this goes. It's a team effort, folks. Or it's a team game. Or it could be, anyway. Um, chat. Um, you all know how this goes with the stacks. First person to type in which stack and how many down, that's the pack we're going for captain. So, just type it in the chat. 4-3, Energy Irish Punk. See, he knows. He's been here before. He understands how this works. He's, he's got the keyboard ready to go. So, there's stack four, pack three. We got it. Got to be faster, Caton and Resto. Come on now. No one told Resto that we're live. That's why. That's why he was just too slow. All right, let's see what we got. So, going to Cat. Let's put that down there. Let's start flipping. What do we got? Starting off with some uncommons, we got nice try. Then we got out of the shadows. And Withian, who now has stealth. Uh, what do we got? Pelephus? Some elf. He moves things. We got bull strength. We got shield. We got Sir Uwain. We got Jiggerol. Bring back the Jiggerol meta. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. We got a Pike. And we got Sarah Nifion. She might be French, too. Shout out to the beginning of this chat. Uh, but none of that matters. We got a sea cap. Hat <laughs> sea cap. Get it. Uh, let's see what you got. That's a good excuse, Caton. I appreciate that. That was still pretty fast, all things considering. Then, uh, let's see what we got, Cap. What do we got for you? We got and the Tempest. This is a Deverinian pack over here. That's all we do is pull Deverinians. Some people are happy about this. 
Um, let's read and the Tempest. Um, it's it's an because it's a e and n e. The Tempest. Uh, level four, good aligned Deverinian. Skyborn Path is the flavor text, or flavor trait, I should say. Has one strike at plus six, 15 AC, nine skill, and a measly one HP. So she, she, she's pretty fragile. Uh, spend order, perform a plus six range strike, or spend order, perform a plus zero range strike that inflicts two additional wounds if it hits. Oh, man. Chat, what do you think about this one? I, I think this is pretty rough. There is no reason to give this card only one HP. It's got good skill. I like that. I think even if it had like three HP, it, it's almost not playable. <laughs> like, I mean, three HP, you'd only play it because of that. And you want like a level four wizard that can cast extensions or something. Um, I like the, the, the golden gunshot. I think in a smaller card pool, it's kind of cool, but it's, it's just not good. Um, I do not have a shredder. I will not rip it. The card does not belong to me. The card belongs to the loot box. All right. So I can't make decisions on these cards. You can't make decisions. Once you win the loot box, then you can make decisions. So the, our last winner, Gracchus the Old, he definitely would not rip this. No way. And he would like put it in his binder, be happy. Like, yeah, this is Bax and the Tempest. So sorry. That's where it's going to go. You guess you gotta keep watching until we get to the loot box candidates, and then maybe you'll win in the Tempest. But until then, yeah, it's definitely a loot box. It's definitely not a good card. And we went over two. We're regressing in our dev quality over here. But um, that's gonna do it, folks. So once again, I would like to thank Woodrow for coming on and giving us a fun match. Uh, thank you to everybody who gifted out subs or came and sub. Really appreciate it. Uh, everything that any and just a reminder to everybody. Uh, if you ever do subscribe or you ever spend money on this stream, just understand 100% of it goes back into getting vintage booster boxes, 5e uh, boxes. So you guys technically indirectly help the Kickstarter because I got some booster boxes for this stream. So we'll crack that when the time comes as well. Um, but that that's where everything goes. I don't keep a dime. Uh, so if you ever feel like, do I really want to give this fat, obnoxious jerser some money? Uh, just understand that you're giving it to the community. It's totally fine. Uh, and if you don't, that's totally fine too. I know like Twitch does some stupid, stupid shit. Um, and they've increased prices or so I know subscribing is getting more like, give me just prime. Cause you get that for free. Like that's cool. But like, I understand if you hate Twitch, don't worry. And, I, and you don't have to give me money to enjoy the streams. Just coming on watching, having a good time and, and, and roasting me in chat is totally fine. So love you all. Definitely appreciate it. Stay tuned for round two. Uh, I'll be sure to announce it once the rounds get announced. So probably within like 48 hours-ish, whatever it may be. But uh, stay tuned. Take it easy. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>